What I have behind me is uh, a platform that's all foamed up. Uh, we're about to begin machining our new 47 foot center console. Um, just wanted to talk about the process a little bit. A lot of people don't really understand, you know, what CNC machining is and five axis milling, all the things that we talk about. Um, at Adrenaline, all of our designs are derived from our uh, CAD models that we develop in-house in the, in the 3D world. We take those, those CAD files and we make what we call a mill file where we add the flanges around the perimeter of the mold. We, we check the mold for draft to make sure that the part's going to pull. And then, we, then we, we design a platform to mill either a mold or a plug uh, in order to um, create that, that shape in a, in a full, full scale scenario. Uh, a lot of times we'll make what we call DTM tools or direct direct to mold. We'll, we'll mill the actual mold and surface it for a low production run. Um, other times we'll make a male part and then pop a permanent mold off of it. That's what we're doing at our 47 is we're making a, a permanent mold because we anticipate selling a lot of them. We've got a tremendous amount of interest in this product already. We've only shared you know a couple of pictures to people but a lot of uh, the folks that we've talked to just said that you know they wanted to see us get into this market so this is what we do and we're going pretty big so 47 foot you know it's not the hugest or the biggest uh, boat uh, on the market uh, and it's not the smallest I, I feel like we, we're going to enter the market where there's not a lot of competition it's a good size for us uh, it's, it's you know trailerable to a degree it's it's not uh, it's not untrailerable Back to the process of, of milling. So we designed uh, a steel platform and plywood it, and then we foam it up with a, a two pound, three pound EPS foam. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mill the shape of the hull um, out of the styrofoam, and we're gonna machine it a half inch smaller than the actual finished dimensions of, of the actual boat surface. Then we'll stabilize the foam uh, surface with uh, several layers of fiberglass and we'll spray a, a machinable putty over the surface and then we'll machine it again. This process will take probably about three weeks to complete on, on this hull because of the size of it. Um, you know, our machine is pretty big. It's not the biggest in the industry but for us it's it's been it's been awesome. Um, I bought it second hand from another builder um, out of Florida and we basically rebuilt the whole machine put a new control system on it the the z-axis mass that goes up and down uh, we engineered here at adrenaline and completely fabricated it so that it would have uh, almost 10 uh, 10 feet of z-axis stroke we ordered the m machining head out of uh, Italy and integrated it into the control system and into the uh, machine so that we could have very precise positioning of the rotary axes, and, and, and what that means is that we get a very accurate part. Um, it's, 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 it was a big project for us. You know, we're a small company, so you know, to be able to have this technology in-house has been r really awesome. We do work for other builders. Uh, we've done molds for I won't I won't name them, but a lot of big build, uh, big names in the industry. We've done stuff for the military. Um, and it's just proven to be a, a huge asset for us, uh, not only by being able to do contract work, but also for us to be able to machine our own stuff with, you know, aerospace type accuracy. Uh, we built these little rails into the floor um, recently uh, so that we can, we can move the part through the mill with accuracy. It's, you know, the best we can tell, it's about a 32nd of an inch accurate all the way down the 80 foot run. Um, and some people would say, hey, that's not very accurate, you know, 32nd of an inch. And it's actually very accurate for boat building. If you can get boat building down to a 16th of an inch, you're doing better than 99.9% .9 of the builders out there. Um, this part, as big as it is, this whole platform is over 50 feet long. Uh, from the morning to the evening, the, the contraction and expansion of that part could be as much as a half inch. Uh, a lot of people don't understand 
that these parts actually move throughout the day just from thermal expansion. So we try to uh, locate our parts under the mill at the same time of the day so that we kind of keep an accurate um, uh, workflow throughout the day when we're machining. Thank you.